Let's start using the Aver camera with zoom. Here's what we'll need to get started. You'll need the camera unit plugged in to power. You'll need your remote control, make sure the battery's in there. And you'll need that USB cable A and to USB C and your ThinkPad laptop. So this video is a continuation from part one where we went over how to connect the camera to the laptop. And so we're just gonna pick up where we left off. Now that you have your laptop connected to the camera, we're gonna open the laptop and I'm actually gonna go into a um, Zoom session that's already going. So let's take off the lens cap from the camera and you'll notice from that blue light on the camera panel that the camera is ready to start tracking the subject. So first, let me open my Zoom session. Okay, now that I'm in Zoom, you're gonna see that I have captured my screen with a Screencastify, just so you get a better idea of the options that I'm going to select. So let's change a couple things here on the video so you can see that Screencastify. Okay, you see that notification that just popped up? It says that the Aver camera has been detected. No software needed, nothing special. It just got plugged into the camera. Oh, I'm sorry, to the um, laptop. Normally, when we start a video session on Zoom, we head down to the Start Video button. But if you press on the up arrow, you'll get more options. So let me click on that up arrow. And you'll notice now there are two cameras to select from. First, there's the Aver camera and then there's the integrated camera. I'm gonna select the integrated camera because this is the one that um, we've been using uh, this school year via Zoom with our students. So I'm gonna turn it on, and this is the camera that is built into the laptop. And so you'll see here, and on the bottom right camera feed, you'll notice that I circled where this camera is and now um, we're gonna switch over to the Aver camera, which is to the side of the laptop. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that up arrow where it says stop video. And now I will see the option to select the Aver camera. To select the camera, I'm gonna take my cursor and I will click on Aver TR310 and the laptop will switch the camera feed to the Aver camera. And there it is. So completely different camera now and I'm waving into the Aver camera. Now to control the Aver camera, I wanna pick up the remote and learn how to use the remote. This is gonna be my best friend. First, I'm going to use the arrows to pan and tilt to find the subject. And that's me. And then I will turn on auto tracking. On the bottom right, you will see when the camera starts to move as I use the remote to control it. Right now, I am using the arrows to pan and tilt the camera to find me. And now I'm going to turn on auto tracking. And now the camera tracks me automatically. And when I'm done, I can turn off the camera. After some practice and with students in the class, perhaps one of your students can become the remote control monitor and that could be his or her job to turn on the camera, um, set, uh, turn on one of the presets or find a subject. Thank you.